What's up everyone? I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a few tips for night raids, uh, some of the equipment you can use, the differences between them, and why you might want to be running some night raids. Um, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. Would absolutely love to have you stop by and say hey. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So night raids are something that uh, not a whole lot of people use. They they don't get a lot of love in Escape from Tarkov. Um, and a lot of that can be because there's not a lot of knowledge around the equipment that you can use, what the difference is, what the pricing is, and stuff like that. Um, there's a bunch of reasons to run night raids. You know, one of them is just for entertainment. You know, it can really change how the game flows, how it's played. It really adds another experience. It can be very creepy. A lot of people say Escape from Tarkov night raids are a horror game. Um, and that can add uh, a whole new flavor of Tarkov if you're looking for that. Um, in addition, it's uh, great for getting quests done. A lot of the times um, they can help um, raise be a little bit less populated or just give you some more cover when you're uh, trying to go get some quests done. Uh, I've definitely done that. Uh, night raids can be super fun for like grinding scavs for loot like night factory there's not a whole lot of people running it and sometimes you can just like grind a bunch of scavs for loot um or if you have the loot runs like shoreline or interchange or reserve or something like that um now i think sometimes the perception is that night raids are empty which is definitely not true especially with the amount of uh people playing escape from tarkov right now uh, you know, if there's enough people to fill a raid, it's going to fill that raid and you run the risk of going against some super meta chat boys with the best night vision or thermal or something like that. But, um, I would say a lot more people play day. And, um, if there aren't enough people to fill a server, you might get a raid with less PMCs in it. Um, but you can also use just the cover of night to your advantage. It, it completely changes how the game is played. It's a lot harder to spot people from farther away. Um, so you might not be getting one tapped out of nowhere from crazy distances. So it might make your life a little bit easier. I would definitely recommend checking them out. Um, but the, uh, the different equipment that, um, you can use at night. So we've got a few different night vision goggles and they range in price. Um, I mean, this one here, uh, is only about 30,000 rubles. Now, this is one of the things that so many people think running night raids and night vision is incredibly expensive. 30,000 rubles isn't nothing, but it's not that expensive uh, in the long run. Now, they do need to be mounted onto a helmet, and that can get a little bit of confusing. Uh, well, it can get a little confusing. You need a mount that connects to the helmet, and then you need a plate that connects a dovetail adapter that connects to the night vision and then the night vision itself. Um, the absolute saving grace here is just looking up night vision on the flea market, uh, right clicking on the night vision you find and clicking a uh, linked search. You're going to find the thing that attaches to, then you link search that you're going to find the next thing and then you put it on a helmet. So that makes that a little bit easier. Um, you have to have a helmet that can take, a night vision goggle it has to have a mount right here i've got a few different helmets in here you know the 6b47 is a really cheap class 3 helmet that you can do the lzsh is a bit more expensive it's class 3 still but you can attach some additional per, um, protection so one of the things that you forfeit by putting night vision on is the ability to put a face shield down because obviously you wouldn't be able to do both of those at the same time so certain helmets allow you to add, you know, the mandible for extra protection or some ear protection or something like that. Um, so that is kind of why you would do some over the other. Um, and then you have the uh, N15 night vision that only attaches to this strap and you can't put a helmet on in addition to that. Um, so you've got the little bit of uh, differences there. The price can vary. Like we said, this one um, is about 30,000 rubles. Uh, that can go all the way up to 50 or 60,000 for these and up to 150,000 or 1200 USD for the big boys. And we'll break down the differences. So these are the cheapest ones right here. You can see it restricts our field of view a little bit, um, and it can be a little grainy. Um, so at distances and stuff like that, it can be a little bit harder to see, uh, but it is very different. If you press N that engages the night vision or turns it off. And this is factory pre night vision at night. Uh, so you can definitely tell that it's going to help you out quite a bit. Now it does, you know, it is a little bit harder to see distances than if you were just playing a day raid. And then obviously a light source is going to kind of be not very good because it's amplifying light to a huge degree. So any sort of real light source is going to be super bright. Um, but that is the, um, 
P and V night vision. We'll just kind of go through each one and show the differences. So this is the one that only applies here to the chin strap. It's blue. It, a lot of people, it's got a blue tinge to it. I think technically it's considered like white phosphorus in real life, but it's kind of got a blue tinge, a little bit less noise. It's a little bit clearer. You can see a little bit farther with a little bit more ease, um, but you are forfeiting a helmet there. Um, now we have the monocle which uh it can attach to helmet like normal now this is much clearer than those super cheap ones but a more restrictive uh field of view um so you make that sacrifice there. you can't attach to the helmet you can get the helmet protection you're going to get a little bit clear um but that field of view is is pretty bad uh this is you know great if you're close to the edge or if you're at a place where there's a lot of light where you can like go in a building there's a lot of light and you can just kind of flick this on scan the area and flick it off but that is there for you um and then we have the big boys here on the airframe uh, this is an extremely wide field of view. Almost none of your screen is taken away. It's nice and clear. There's not a whole lot of noise. Um, these are worth, you know what I mean? If you want to run night raids and you want to go big Chad, these are worth it. Um, it's <laughs> brutal when you lose them. Um, but uh, this is obviously the kind of mecca when it comes to night vision. Um, there are a few night vision optics in the game. We've got the Vulcan MG three and a half times scope and we've got the n uh, s p u m night scope now i will say these are basically never used and i personally wouldn't necessarily recommend using them uh they're not very expensive but as you can see uh you only get the night vision effect when you're adsing and they are pretty zoomed in so three and a half this might be great on something like shoreline um, you know what I mean? On our woods, on a longer sight lines, uh, but not a whole lot of people use them because for the price of these, you can pretty much get these cheap night visions and then run like a red dot or whatever type of scope you want. And you don't have to worry about only getting three and a half times magnification. You can't look, you know, if I just want to look directly in front of me, you know, you're kind of completely um struggling to do that and the same is with this one this is even blurrier there's a little bit of warping it's even more zoomed in and uh this is the yeah nsp and it's just not, not not great but know that those are available to you uh now beyond that if you don't want to be running night vision for every single raid there are all sorts of flashlights in the game that can be mounted to guns um these can be super helpful if you are just running to a specific spot and you want to check something out uh, once you get a little bit more of the map knowledge down or something like that, uh, this might be great. Uh, so you're investing a little bit less because you kind of know where you're going. Um, but the flashlights work pretty great. Um, and uh, so we're on factory because I couldn't get an actual nighttime raid. But you can also see that a lot of times in on big open maps like Shoreline or Woods, sometimes in the middle of the night, the moonlight is actually... Uh, pretty bright and bright enough to run around once again if you're comfortable with the map sometimes the moonlight can be plenty bright to run around and go to where you want to go and then the, th the other thing you have to kind of factor in is um in a uh map like interchange uh the inside of the mall there's tons of stores where you actually wouldn't be able to tell if it was day or night because you're so far indoors and so many lights are on um some parts of the resort as well might be more lit up so you can get into places where it's harder to utilize the night vision because you turn a corner and there's a super bright light or there might be certain maps where you want to be switching between them um, or not run one at all use the moonlight or a flashlight to get to those places and then you're not having to worry about it as much um, so that's kind of it those are some of the reasons to run night raids if you are interested in doing so and some of the equipment that the game provides to run them uh, like we said before a lot of people just assume it's crazy expensive to run night vision when it's not really you can take a cheap helmet that has a mount and get some cheap night vision and like we said you know these are definitely not the best of the best um, but definitely usable when playing escape from tarkov so i hope that that helped i hope that that cleared up a little bit about night raids and about the equipment that is available to you and i would definitely encourage you to get out there and hopefully survive some raids at night in escape from tarkov
Thanks so much for checking out the video. Drop a like if you like the video and think about subscribing for more content like this. Uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions about the video, if I missed anything, or if there's any guides you'd like to see me make here in the future. I'm always trying to create content that helps shorten the learning curve of Escape from Tarkov and get you and your race having fun as soon as possible. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you all on the next one.